Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're looking at mirror shining a pair of second hand shoes. So I bought these second hand shoes from a local charity shop um, and I bought them for three pound. These are actually very good shoes. These are made by John White. Um, they retail normally at about 140 to 180 pounds a pair. They're handmade leather shoes made in Northampton, which is famous for shoemaking. Now these have had some wear and they need a little bit of TLC to start with. Um, They're in this lovely cognac colour. Uh, sort of a light chestnut. Uh, so they should really come up really well. We're only looking at uh, mirror shining the medallion, the toe cap, and we're trying to do this in the most cost effective way possible. So on this occasion, we're going to use Kiwi shoe polish, which is perfectly acceptable. But if you've got something more expensive like Sophia, then you just get the same result. But a lot less effort put into achieving it and it's a quicker result so either way you're still going to end up with a really good pair of shoes that look a lot better so to start with all we're going to do is clean the shoe and give it a light polish and put it in a shoe shoe tree to stretch it a little bit and get out some of these creases so here we are at the sink um, I put the shoes, the shoe trees into the shoes. Um, now we're going to give the shoes a wash and also with a toothbrush go inside the well to get them nice and clean. Now a consequence of using the cloth and water will be this leather will absorb some water. So we'll need to dry the shoes off before we do anything else. And with that there will be a little bit of shrinkage and it will pull some of these creases out but be careful not too much heat otherwise it will dry them out to the extent that they will crack okay give them a nice good clean it's just to get all the dust off A little bit of water on the toothbrush just to get inside the welts. Wring the cloth out, use that to get any excess water off. Now all we need to do is let them dry out. I tend to leave them out in the open without direct heat and they will dry out in their own accord. Two or three hours and it should be okay. So now the shoes have dried out and you can see some of the creases they're a lot lighter now and so all we need to do now is if you had any moisturiser, leather moisturiser, use that on the shoes. That protects them a little bit more. In this case, all we're going to do is I'm just going to apply polish. Bear in mind, the object of this exercise is to keep the costs as low as possible. So in this case, just going to apply some polish to them. Leave it for 10-15 minutes if you've not in any rush, leave them overnight and then polish the wax off the following day. All I've done is I've used some newspaper to protect the table. Um, brush to put the polish on and a brush to take the polish off. I'm using a mid tan kiwi polish. 
because that's the cheap alternative, yet very effective. So on this occasion, because they haven't seen polish for a while, give them a nice coat of polish, get right inside the welt, Now, this has had a few scuffs on there, and this is why I'm using the dyed polish on the leather itself to try and fill in some of those little scratches, those little marks that you get over time on shoes. So that gives us a good basis to start doing the bull on top of that, the mirror shine. Now when it comes to the mirror shine, I have also got a clear version and that might be needed because over time with the darker dyed polish, it will build up over time and get darker and darker. So to keep it a very similar colour, I might have to uh, use the clear one every so often to reduce the amount of dye going into the shine. All we need to do now is leave that for 10 to 15 minutes. Ideally just leave it overnight and then polish it off in the morning. But in this case we'll just leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll give them a brush and see what we've got. So here we are about 15 minutes later. So all we need to do now is use the brush, give it a vigorous brush. Don't forget to do inside the welt. It's important to get the friction there, that's what uh, gets the polish to heat up and shine. Okay, now there were some scuffs in the toe. Uh, they're still there but they're very light. I have got another brush here which is a horsehair brush. This gives it a slightly finer polish. not essential but if you've got it why not use it. So now we've uh, given them a polish now we can look at doing the actual mirror shine on the toe cap on the medallion part. Now when it comes to mirror shining with the broguing we have to be a little bit cautious. If we use too much water the holes will absorb the water and then you'll get a blistering effect around each little hole when you do the mirror shine. So when we do the mirror shine on brogues, I'd always advise very, very light amounts, very small amounts of polish, very small amounts of water and just keep changing it frequently when we go through the process. If the brogues have got a little bit too much polish in them, Use the brush and just stipple inside the holes. That will get rid of any excess polish in them. And they'll be 
fine like that. So for the mirror shine, personally, I use cotton wool balls. You can use um, a duster, you can use a civet cloth, you can use uh, cotton wool pads. The point is use what you like to use. Use a preferred method that you've devised. I'm just showing you one method that will get you off the ground if you've never done this before. There are other methods and it's trial and error to find out what's best for you. So besides the polish and cotton wool balls, I use ice water and I do that by using ice and then put a little bit of water on top of that. So the next phase is the mirror shine. So here we have some ice water, the polish and also our cotton wool balls. Now you can preload the toe cap by putting layers of polish on there to start with. The point is you're actually polishing the polish rather than the actual leather. So in this case we're just going to put light coats of polish on there and build them up. If you start feeling some resistance just put some more polish on. Don't need a lot of polish. The last thing we need is those brogue holes to be filled with polish. You end up with no broguing on the toe cap. Something else to bear in mind is that sometimes you'll find where the foot naturally flexes it might actually make a mark further down than where the broguing is. If that is the case only put the mirror shine up to that point. If you go over it where the shoe cracks it'll look a lot worse. So you're better off sticking to the natural part of the toe cap and the medallion before it goes to where any breaks or any creases appear in the actual shoe itself. In this case the, it's quite high up here. So you're perfectly okay to go up to the base of the broguing there. I tend to put about seven or eight little layers of polish on. What I tend to do now is leave it for about five or ten minutes and then we can start the bulling process. So we've given them a good ten minutes or so, so now all we need to do is start the mirror shine, or in England we call it bulling. So cotton wool ball, just a little bit of uh, cold water on it, squeeze it out, just a smear of polish, hardly visible, and then we start doing the shoe. Very light circles, just like polishing an egg. Just keep going at it, nice little circles. As soon as you feel any resistance, then either we need to put on some more water 
or a little bit more polish. So, just a little smear again. polish starting to look like a mirror shine and we've only been doing it for about three minutes or more so it's possible that these shoes have previously been bulled and obviously somebody stopped doing that over time and when I bought them they didn't look like they had that base coat if you like that's a possibility but then again these are really good shoes and the leather used is premier sort of leather so it might also be that that's uh, helping me so just a little bit more polish on there just remember not too much water if those bro holes get too much water in there then they actually it becomes counterproductive and they blister up and you pull the polish off the idea is to polish the top layer of polish. It's just small amounts of polish is all it needs. say this is probably the fastest response to a mirror shine I've ever had on a pair of shoes in literally 50 years worth of doing it you can already see on there it's got that mirror shine started all we need to do now is just continue that this is literally five minutes so you can imagine if we spend a little bit more time on this say an hour we'll have them like glass so that's the intention make them look like they're nearly new so I'll just continue now <laughs> point where it will get to what we call saturation point where no matter what you do they won't shine anymore if that's the case all you need to do is stop give the shoes a rest the polish will harden and say start the next day and continue and you'll find that you get a deeper shine they respond really well to that so there we are already getting a mirror shine on them so we'll do this for another hour and then we'll see what we get 
So I know I said we'd do this for an hour, but after about 40 minutes, that's 20 minutes on each shoe, I think um, it's time to call it a day. We've got a mirror shine on them and uh, the light's not very good in here, but uh, they certainly look a lot better than they were compared to three pounds from a charity shop. Now, in the process of making these, this video, um, I've seriously considered, I was gonna sell them on eBay, but I might just keep them for myself. Uh, this sole, whilst it does need, it's at the point where it might need to be resold, or we could have a rubberized sole added to this to give it more wear and more protection and it would last longer and they're about between 18 and 22 pounds and uh, they're done and that, that would give you the longevity in the shoes but for three pounds plus the cost of a little bit of polish because it's an unusual color um, we've certainly got a new well a nearly new pair of shoes for under £10. So I'll just uh, show you the before and after video outside so you get more natural light on the subject and uh, see what you think. So we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. We always like subscribers, so if you'd like to subscribe, feel free to do so. Don't forget, hit the bell for notifications. And if you'd like to make a comment, please feel free to do so. It always helps us with our next video or series of videos. So you never know, if you say something, you might have it featured in the next video. So until next time, take care.